So it's really important to have a good multimeter aboard the boat. This will help so much in troubleshooting the systems you have, finding faults, figuring out if equipment is defective, but also helps in the installation to, sure, to ensure the connections are clean and everything is connected properly. So there's three main functionalities of a multimeter that you should be aware of. So be able to measure AC and DC voltage, AC and DC amperage, as well as continuity. So we'll start with voltage. So I'm on volts right now. This meter can measure both AC volts and DC volts. AC volts is like your shore power coming in from land or from your output of your inverter. It's demarked by the little sinusoid. So since I'm measuring DC volts right now, I change the mode to DC volts. I'm ready to use my prongs to measure voltage. So I can go on the terminals of this battery, measure, I have 13.1718 volts here. I can measure the other battery, same, 13.17, 13.18. So that's the voltage. Now, the other very important parameter is the amperage. That is how fast the electrons are moving through the circuit. So in the amperage mode, I again select DC amperage. I have to re-zero out the meter before I start using it. So now we're zeroed out. So I'm ready to clamp this over a wire. In this case, I'm gonna connect the lead to the battery, but this can be your alternator output. It can be your solar input. It can be really any specific thing you're trying to target. And if you have an issue such as a bad solar panel or something, you can clamp this around all the different solar inputs to see which one is being um, troublesome. So for now we're on amperage. I'm going to connect it here. So I can grab the positive lead. The amp clamp, we see I'm drawing 9.2 amps out of here. And we can check that everything's working because this is a circuit. Whatever's coming out of the positive has to be returning on the negative. So we can connect it around the negative and we see we're reading the same power, nine and a half amps. What comes out must come back in. So this is great. If a battery were to be giving trouble or if there was a fuse blown on a particular device, you could check to see if that device was performing by clamping around that particular lead. So finally, there's continuity. And that's the ability to have a complete circuit. So this tests to see if a complete circuit exists. When I touch them together, the meter beeps. So for instance, this metal is obviously conductive from A to B, but if you're having trouble with an appliance, you can see if the path to that route is conducting power. So this is a positive bus bar down along the side of this battery. So I can use this to test continuity. And if I'm trying to show I'm trying to record that there's continuity between the positive here and the positive bus bar. I can connect the two leads. I can see that there's continuity. So it's a great troubleshooting tool to test that every part of the circuit is connected and working correctly. So as you can see, the multimeter is a very useful tool and something that every boat owner should have and know how to use. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to the team at Battleborn Batteries. And in the meantime, I hope you consider supporting Warrior Sailing.